Traveling West Virginia with award-winning photojournalist Brad Rice. Having the Mothman Museum and, and all the visitors and people from all over the world coming in, uh, my wife and I had purchased this building uh, about six or seven years ago. And I just happened to walk upstairs one day and saw this gigantic room and kind of like had, a, had an idea. I thought, well, you know, this would be really cool if we had like a mini golf up here. And even better, you know, a blacklight mini golf. We talked about it a little bit and I contacted a guy named Larry Kirschner in St. Louis, owns a company called Blacklight Attractions. And uh, they're famous for uh, doing stuff for uh, uh, Dollywood and MGM Studios and they, they do them all over the world. He asked me what kind of theme we wanted to go with, whether it be uh, dragons or pirates. And I said, we want to do Mothman. And there was just a long silence. And he said, what's a Mothman, you know? And it's an immersive uh, type setup. In other words, it's not open. You know, you go into different rooms and it tells the history of the Mothman sightings. Um, you know, the men in black, uh, the UFO activity was going on here in, in the 60s. So I wanted to make sure that it was, uh, uh, you know, strictly just a, you know, a Mothman storyline. We have some of the uh, Set pieces were done by a local artist, Dale Morton, did the one that's behind us. Um, he put a lot of time and effort into that. And uh, so, so stuff like that highlights a lot of the, you know, some, some West Virginia people. You go into one room and, you know, you have some men in black stuff. You go into another room in the UFOs and then you go into the TNT area, which is where the Mothman sightings took place, most of them. So you have a military presence there. And there's a little bit of science fiction thrown in. It is a nine hole golf course and it's laid out nice to where it's not too cramped. And the course it, itself is actually not real easy. There's a couple holes in the course that are definitely a challenge. There's a couple little, little scares here and there, but we always tell the parents, you know, before they go in and some parents is like, don't even tell them, you know, we'll just let them find out for themselves. So. I like all of it, really. I like the way the collars pop. I think it's uh, it's a great thing for Point Pleasant. Um, you got a lot of history and you have a lot of mystery. You know, I'm from Point Pleasant. You know, I grew up here. Amazing work, Brad. Where do you think we should go next? Just let us know in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification to get the latest traveling West Virginia uploads delivered straight to you.